ladies and gentlemen we are moving into game three it is do or die time for btk to find a reply to find an answer to cloud nine's dominance okay so taking a look at the draft it does it does look like that grok is gonna be exp lane wondering if he's gonna you know you mentioned it private wonder does he go damage here does he pick up the blade of despair first item does he go all in this is not a new hero to chicken he's comfortable with it it also gives them some nice crowd control some nice engage and disengage out of the three drafts that we've seen from btk this one is probably one of my favorites it feels a bit more comfortable for everybody moba zane i mean yes the paquito is unheard of but it does have an insane insane level four power spike the damage is definitely there if they can capitalize on the laning phase and that's what we're going to be keeping a close eye on right the laning phase how are they going to be able to effectively keep their side laners alive and also get these objectives how are they going to be able to get into these turtles now there's a lot of things working well for btk's draft you have the aurora right the crowd control especially this early you have shark able to close the distance and able to be the initiator for these setups and speaking of setups look at btk may be able to close the distance on the top side that's a four to two engagement possibly on the way there goes the cc Woo! for the taunt and zia securing the kill on cold world Man, and Cold World, I mean, he felt the punishment there. Four members of BTK going in, Moba Zane, very quickly. And that's the strength and the burst you have out of the Piquito. Why Chicken taking some heavy damage? Yeah, he's going to get a G Kondo to the face from Cold World. Now going to go back to safety. Cloud9 in a great position, zoning out the Bloodthirsty Kings from this turtle. Chicken finding an early grave. Oh. Nats able to slam down with the Demonic Force to shut him down. And you are going to see best player claim the turtle. You know, I feel like Chicken once... just had to throw that wall in to kind of try to reset the turtle. And for... is just what makes Cho such a threat. We've seen him prioritize a lot this NACT. I mean, look at that. The G comes up for the night. Oh, Wild charge play, though. Shark able to find Cold World, able to punish best player finding fried chicken. That's going to be a one for one trade for both sides. But Nat, in the heart of the battle with the demonic force, forcing Moba Zane to the tier three turret. A, a much cleaner game, but this is going to kind of help him scale uh, as we progress to the mid game. But right now, another turtle in play, and you're looking at Cloud9 trying to get that position, trying to wrap around for the setup. But this time, the full five man of BTK for the denial. There goes a little bit of crowd control on to Cold World. Watch Shadow comes Ooh. out, and we just Shadow Kill as well. But BTK stacked together to share the damage. But there comes Nas, like a trade. Wrecking Ooh. into the Thirsty Kings with the demonic force. Very low, Hoon able to take down Nas on that aggressive play and will force him out the turtle pit. Ooh, I, I do like that they all collectively decided that they were going to try to go ahead and chase, not not just half of them on the turtle, but now it's kind of leaving it open. You see Colwell trying to find himself an angle. Yeah, so, I mean, at this point, Cloud9 able to back off a bit, able to take, uh, able to disengage from the possible fight. Moba Zane even starting to do some more damage. Zia starting to do some more damage. Ooh. Ooh, not gonna lead to anything though. Able to get out with a sliver of HP. Yeah. Might have the gold lead just yet, but they have the vision even with Cold World basically dancing around. Oh! Ooh, Flicker Wild Charge play, but basic outmaneuvers the 2v1 and Cold World joins the party. Man, and, and just like that, man, Basic, we've talked about it before. Love him, hate him. He has improved so much this season. Yeah, I mean, Basic at this point has just been able to dodge everything that BTK tries to bring at him. He finds the backdoor answers. And BTK, they have the damage like Moba Zane, deathless right now. He just needs to actually get that first kill. He needs to get that second kill. He needs to be able to connect with his team. Speaking of connecting, 3v1 on the bot side, but Zane able to delay the push for the tier 3 turret. Yeah, and uh, I mean, he uh, right there, he was trying to get the damage on to basic, uh, kind of ignored the minions a little bit there. But now we have a 3v1 under the tower for Fly Chicken. All right, nothing going to happen major. Best player farming at top side. Taking a look at the gold, Cloud9 getting away, but let's take a look at the items. Best player has Hunter Strike, Malefic Roar, Zane on the other side. 
has Hunter Strike working on the next one. Maybe going into Endless Battle here, get some uh, true damage off. On terms of tanks, Cole World up against uh, up against Shark. Cole World, I mean, is kind of taking a more roundabout route here. Has taken two deaths, is a little bit slow to the party, but still, just that alone, the fact that it doesn't have a full item complete, but is still in their face so much, speaks volumes. Speaking of volumes, look at the split push on the top side. Basic able to take a turret for Cloud9 and the Spear of Destruction. Decides not to go in and Moba Zane and BTK will take the turtle. Yeah, they get the objective, but man, oh, already starting to create the, the seeds of that threat uh, up at the top with Moscow Basic there. We saw from the last game. Ooh, Nass taking some heavy hits right there. We'll be able to get back to safety. Shark. Trying to join the battle with the AOG, not going to connect. Yeah, but at least does kind of create space for his team so that Cold World doesn't try to force down another big response pick. Zia also now getting some offlane towers. So BTK running smoothly right now. Even though they're behind in gold, they're winning out on turtles. They're able to at least keep up in these fights right now. And their composition is only going to get stronger as this game moves forward. Yeah, and, and, th and that's kind of the thing for me right now is that they were able to kind of hold the early game. They don't really have to lean so hard into the late game because they're holding their own right now. And a, a much better draft, a much more comfortable BTK. But man, you can't say enough about Cloud9 when it comes to some of these interceptions. When it comes to kind of uh, getting picked off, there's always a reply coming out. And speaking of replies, chicken on the top side, numbers not in his favor. And Cloud9 quickly pursuing. There goes the wild charge. A last second save. Will be able to go back. Nats not able to close the distance. And Chicken able to sustain himself. I'm not going to lie. Discipline coming from basic. I expected him to go forward into there. Speaking of forward, the way the dragon and the oh. force combination. Zane able to outlive two ultimates. And back to the base he goes. I think at this point, the Aurora pick is, uh, it could be the big trade pick as these games mm. move forward. If BTK is able to win this game, that Aurora, whatever side it's on, has been detrimental to how these teams can play it out. Hoon has been able to pull off some big saves, been able to output damage the same way that Mark Cutie was doing it before. Yeah, I, 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 the name of the game is CC here, especially when it comes to some of these like frontal assaults coming from both of the opponents here. They don't really have a backline dive. Ooh, comes in with a kick. Yeah, both sides trying to set up for this Lord is still surprisingly 10 minutes in three to three on the scoreboard. Definitely playing for these objectives, but with this objective on the table, who will be able to turn it in their favor? I mean, I don't know. With right now, BTK doesn't doesn't want to try to play slow around the Lord. They always seem to want to rush it. Let's see if they can pull it off. Yeah, Cobra taking some damage, able to sidestep the wild charge from Chicken. A little premature right there and now buys Cloud9 a little bit of room in the Lord Pit. Yeah, and the Lord reset here. Both teams are looking, I want to say Cloud9 a little bit more comfortable in there. Looking to try to start a fight here. Goes in! With the quad shadow, Ouija shadow kill as well. Not going to deal the final touches on to Shark. That's going to be a lot of utility baited out. That'll buy BTK some time for that Lord push from Cloud9. And I mean, Lord's still up, right? Lord's still still sitting. It's still first Lord. Both teams taking their time. A little bit of a dance going. Both junglers going back to get buffs. Best player's going to need the purple. Another big Frigid Glacier comes out, so that's one ult down. But look at Zane. I mean, we question the Bakito, but the damage threat is definitely there. Yeah, but look at Basic yeah, on the bot side. Oh, yeah, he's trying to get that split push in while the team is fighting out here. Yeah, you're going to see the Demonic Force drop down. Moba Zane able to claim the Lord for the Bloodthirsty Kings. And Basic yet to find a turret for the trade-off. There goes Luigi Shadow Kill and the Quad Shadow. Best player trying to go back to safety, but going a little bit to the wrong direction. He should be okay, though. He should have the Quad Shadow in time. Basic will take the Tier 2 on the bot side. Was it worth it, though, right? Uh, probably like, like, do we think the tower was worth the Lord? Depending on what BTK gets here, that's when that question will be answered. Yeah, and this is kind of something I brought up before about some of the early games from Basic. It's like, yes, the split push can be viable, but is it always viable when they probably could have used him for some of those fights? Yeah, and right now you are seeing a great push from BTK. With that Lord on their side, we'll be able to maintain the pressure for the advantage at the 11 minute mark. I mean, so far it's been viable, right? Like, so far it has worked, but... 
BDK needs to take advantage of that, right? They need to know what's happening, and that's when they rush the Lord, which is what we saw last time in this past Lord. So maybe that's the real answer. And if they can time those moments right, then they turn it into not being viable, right? Yeah, yeah and, and that's the biggest point there when it comes to, to not being viable. But, I mean, they're doing such a great job here right now. Still kind of hanging behind when it comes to the gold lead, but the macro is on their side. And speaking of macro and micro, both sides are going to be fighting out possibly in the mid lane. A lot of uh, utility wasted right there, but here goes the engagement we were looking for. Oh. Zia able to find Nats in the heart of the battle. Who finds Cold World? Two members dropping for Cloud9. Maybe more with Luigi Shadow Kill, but Mova Zane will take down best player, but not before he finds Chicken Basic. Able to respond back. We'll take down Shark. That's going to be a three to two trade. Oh. There goes the immune on the basic. Need to get away. Back to safety. Zane will not follow through with the chase. Both sides very Whoa. low and a fierce disruption. <laughs> Almost down the middle. He, that, we were talking about needles through threads earlier. That was a needle through a thread, <laughs> Private. <laughs> yeah, they're a collective sigh from the rest of BTK as that just whiffs just narrowly in between all of them. Because I want to say a basic would have been a huge factor there. Probably would have been able to take uh, at least two of them down. I mean, yeah, knowing basic, he would have gone for it, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, Hoon's still laying down. I, th I would have thought he would have stood up by now. But right now, BTK, they're providing a lot more pressure than what we've seen, at least in game one. Game two, it was building up. But game three, we're starting to see it make a difference. And, you know, best player <laughs> just locked in another item. He's 3-1-1. One, one. We're starting to see that damage start to really work out for best player. He just got a couple kills. Yes, the big trade happens, but it is starting to happen. The pressure into the backside is becoming worrisome for BTK. And even though BTK does seem to be winning out, at least getting the extra kill in these fights, um, there is still a lot of threat, and they have to play correctly. And, and right now, Cold World doing a great job trying to bait out abilities going into these, some of these pushes. The rest of BTK looking to go ahead and start on this objective. Yeah, and I mean, the difference with this one, though, is you are going to see Basic possibly for this engagement. Or is he going to go in for the split push again? Last time he did it, he was able to take a tier two. Yeah, I mean, so at this point they dance, and for the first time in several games, we're seeing the dances be a little bit slower, right? They're playing more around the Lord. They know they need control. Take a look at that bot lane, but wait, conceal play. Yeah, they saw Shark very low. They decide to engage. Wild Charge connecting from Fried Chicken. Only going to knock up Basic, though. He will ooh, respond back, ooh. taking down Chicken. Best player finding Moba Zay. The turtle oh. play with Luigi Shadow Kill. AOG, Shark trying to get away. The way the dragon stopping Zia in his tracks. Nats able to find Zia, able to find Cold World. Nats getting the double. Find Shark and Basic will find Zia. A full wipeout. Cloud9 able to sustain themselves again. Takes down the Bloodthirsty Kings. 16 seconds left on Fly Chicken. They might be able to push this. Hey, you want a basic in the fight? Well, now he's in the <laughs> fight and he's making things work. Yeah, and right now, looking to try and secure a game number three. Flawless series so far for Cloud9 and BTK. Yet to find an answer. Victory! What? An amazing turnaround. This is what I was, I, man. Yeah, Trex absolutely hit the, the 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 nail on the head there. Basic joins the fight. Some uh, online there, 